Emily Spencer with Justin Haley, and I'm just curious, how do you distinguish yourself to be the next generation of big three drivers in the Xfinity Series? Well, you just got to uh, prove it on track. I think it's the base thing. Um, experience is a lot of it, um, mainly because the big three I was racing against last year had several years in Xfinity. Um, they were going their third, fourth years in Xfinity, and you know it's my rookie season, so going to my sophomore season with college racing, I think college racing had to had to grow, and I had to grow, and we grew together. And I think by the end of the season last year, we found a lot of good speed, and and last season obviously wasn't great. We had a lot of uh, lows, and but we had some highs, so lots of rocky roads last year. But I think we, you know, grew over the winter time, and we improved, and we found a lot of speed, and we're building new equipment, we're building new cars, which we didn't last year. So I think a lot of it has to do um, with me and the team working together well, and me and my rookie crew chief getting uh, getting some time on our belts, but. You know, I definitely think um, you just got to go out there and, and win, and I think that's about the only way to do it. Did you have any input in selecting your crew chief? Um, you know, I think we definitely had talks um, about several crew chiefs over the off season. Um, you know, last year after Nick passed away, it was just kind of, you know, Alex was just kind of the guy. He had been doing the 10 part-time, and, um, you know, Alex was just kind of the next guy in line. He was easy. He was there. He understood the program. He stepped up to the plate. Um, and I, you know, I liked where me and Alex – uh, left off and he uh, built a really fast piece here for Daytona and I'm, I'm really proud of him and all the uh, college racing guys the 11 team is pretty new um, got some new guys on it so uh, throughout all of it I, I think it was the right choice and um, you know we just both believe in each other what kind of hit did Nick's loss take on the toll or what kind of a toll did Nick's loss take on the team and if Colleague wasn't more of a family-style race team, would it have been harder to move on? You know, I, I think everything at Colleague just points in the in the direction of a small team, big dream type situation. You know, we're all super close, and and bringing Ross into the situation this year, you know, it, it's so easy to get uh, segregated into one team when there's two teams, you know, and and battling against each other, and that's exactly what we haven't done. We've been so supportive of each other, and we both want to find speed and help each other out week in and week out, which I really love that. So, um, you know, losing Nick was definitely hard, and again, it was my it was my rookie season, so it, it was probably even tougher on me because we had built so much uh, up to that point, and then it was the playoffs, and I had to start with someone new in the playoffs, and it just it was hard. So, um, you know, I think. Uh, Overall, it, you know, it it's, just is what it is. You know, you got to deal with it. got to move on. In the short time that you've had to work with Ross Chastain, what have you learned about him? Because he, he's such an upbeat guy and, and just really a team player. And how do you think he's going to help you just exponentially grow in your position? Well, I think this is like the guy's ninth season in Xfinity. I mean, he's been around. He's been racing Xfinity practically since I was born. So, um you know, I think he's he's going to help. I mean, he always does. Bringing in A.J. Allmendinger last year was a super big help, too. And, and bringing in guys that know what they're doing is a big help. So, Ross has been awesome. I mean, he's running the the cup car um, for Spire Motorsports this weekend, which, you know, I won in last year. So, kind of in that aspect, we've kind of been bouncing back and forth, you know, about what our cup cars are doing. So, we're kind of helping each other out in, in all series and all forms. So, Ross has been super. We've worked with other for a uh, countless number of years over at Spire, um, both being under their umbrella. So, um, you know, I think as teammates, I think uh, we got the two best drivers in the Xfinity garage. And if we're not racing for a championship at the uh, end of the year, I think we're both going to be highly disappointed. And just a relief to have qualified for the Daytona 500. Yeah, I mean, it's awesome getting Colleague Racing, Matt Colleague, uh, FOE, everyone at Lee Filter. Um, you know, just getting them in the Daytona 500 is huge. And last night we played it safe, which we all knew we were going to do. We were already locked in, so no reason to push it. Um, worked out all the bugs with Billy Scott and that team, new team. So um, clean clean night last night. Um, and we'll just go in the 500 and play it safe for a while and race for the end. Thanks for your time, Justin. Thank you.